worst day ever! I need to sit down before I faint! Ugh! Ugh! Heath, is that you? I heard distressed wailing from my room. Ugh! Do I look alright to you? Oh no. Why don't I come sit down? So, why are you so upset? Ugh, well, I just went to the bank and they told me I maxed out all five of my credit cards. And I only have a little bit of money left in my bank account, which means I'm almost broke again! What? But didn't you just get a ton of inheritance money after your uncle passed away? Well, yeah, but that was a few weeks ago and being Heath ain't cheap. Since then, I've totaled my G-Wagon, bought a new G-Wagon, totaled that G-Wagon, then bought another G-Wagon, I've gone on approximately 58 shopping sprees at the Gucci store, and I went to the mall earlier today and bought this new Dolce & Gabbana romper, even though my credit cards are maxed out. I mean, what was I supposed to do, not buy it? It's limited edition! Oh, wow. Okay, then. Well, maybe if you want to keep buying expensive things, you should get a job so you don't go broke again. Ha! As if! Heath Burns does not work! Do I look like a peasant to you? Don't be so judgmental. Working can be fun if you find a job you like. Yeah, right! What job could possibly be fun? Well, what kind of things do you like? Well, I love high-end couture, of course, but I can never work where I shop. I'm a VIP customer and I'm not gonna stoop as low as to becoming a salesperson. I like purses, shoes, coffee. Stop! That's it! I know! You could work at Starbucks! Ugh, well, I suppose that could work, but only because I love their frappuccinos. But I don't know anything about how to get a job. How about I come with you to the Starbucks right now and I can help you fill out a job application? Ugh, whatever. Let's go before I change my mind. Hello, what can I get started for you guys? I'm here for my shift. Excuse me? Oh, <laughs> what he means is he'd like to apply for a job. Oh, well, today's your lucky day because we happen to be hiring right now. I'm actually the manager, and if you'd like, I can go ahead and conduct your interview while you're here. What do you mean I have to interview? I don't just automatically get the job? What kind of rigged system is this? Oh, Heath, you have to interview for any job to show whether or not you're qualified. But you know Starbucks inside and out. You got this. Fine, then let's get the stupid interview over with. All right, then. Follow me. All right, sir. Tell me a bit about yourself and why you want to work at Starbucks. Excuse me? I'm THE Heath Burns, and I don't want this stupid job at all. But if I don't start making some money, I'll go broke AGAIN and I won't be able to buy any more couture fashion! Okay then, next question. Do you enjoy working in customer service? How would you handle a difficult customer? EW! I freaking HATE working with people! And if a customer dared to disrespect me, I'd kick their butt and expose them on social media! Alright, I think we're gonna have to cut this short. Final question, what experience do you have as a barista? EXPERIENCE?! Do I look like a working class citizen to you?! Until now, I've just survived off of my trust fund! Okay, Heath, I think you've shown me all I need to know about you today. Frankly, you are rude, immature, unexperienced, and you aren't even passionate about this job. There's no way on earth I would ever hire you to represent this store. UGH! Are you kidding me?! Here, how about you hire me if I just give you $100 right now?! Excuse me? This is so offensive. Do I look like I take bribes? Okay, then let's make that a thousand dollars. Okay, fine, you won me over. You tell anybody about this and you're done for. And remember, I'm still your manager so I can still fire you at any time. That's more like it! Now time to brag about my new job! Good news, your friend got the job. Sure, he's not the most qualified candidate, but I've decided to give him a chance. That's right, losers! Heath is the newest barista on the block! OMG, that's great, Heath! I knew you could do it! Welp, time to go show off my new career choice on Instagram. Bye! See you tomorrow for your first shift, and don't be late. Alright, losers, it's time for my first day at my new job. Heath is going to be working with real life people? This sounds like a recipe for disaster. How did you get a job in the first place, Heath? You have no experience and you're a terrible person. Ugh! I don't have time to stand here and listen to you guys hate on me! I have frappuccinos to make! Well, I normally hate buying overpriced frappo whatevers, but I may just have to stop by and pay my friend a visit at his new job. Agreed. I'm already imagining all the pranking possibilities. Great, you're here. I was thinking you could work the drive through window. All you have to do is take orders and make the drinks. I'll be at the cash register if you need help. Fine! 
welcome to Starbucks. What can I get for you today? Hi, I'd like a Vinci Vanilla Latte, please. Okay, now pull up to the next window or whatever. Ugh, that'll be five dollars. Here. Ah, nothing like that first satisfied customer. I am such a good barista. Excuse me, I just went through the drive-thru and I did not get the drink I ordered. Well, too bad because we don't do refunds. It's not my fault you don't like the drink. You are being extremely rude, sir. You gave me the wrong drink in the drive-thru and I'd like to speak to a manager now. What seems to be the problem, ma'am? I'm the manager here. This stupid customer is trying to get me fired because she doesn't like her drink. What? That is not what happened. I ordered a latte and he gave me what tastes like watered-down coffee grounds. Heath, did you give this lady the wrong drink? Ugh! I just gave her what all the drinks are made of! I don't know why she's flipping out! What are you talking about? <laughs> well, all the drinks have the same recipe! Duh! You have got to be kidding me. Ma'am, I'm so sorry. I'd be happy to replace your drink free of charge. Actually, I'd just like a refund, please. And maybe next time you should hire baristas that have basic common sense. Of course, ma'am. Here you go. I'm so sorry you had a bad experience today. And I won't be coming back. Are you serious, Heath? You just lost as a long-time customer. I hope you don't actually think that all of the drinks have the same recipe. From now on, I'll make the drinks and you just take the orders. Hopefully you won't find a way to mess that up too. Welcome to Starbucks. What can I get you? Heath, is that you? Ugh, great. Yes, Jackson, it's me. I got a freaking job here. Now just tell me your order. Oh, great. I'd like a grande iced coffee with soy milk, please. Please make sure it's soy milk because I have a very, very, very deadly allergy to dairy. All right, I'll get that iced coffee started and you ring them up at the next window. Wait, give me one more chance to make the right drink. It's just iced coffee. How hard can it be? Fine, but this is your last chance. Ha! Let's see how allergic to dairy you really are, Jackson. Hey, Heath, you remembered the soy milk, right? Totally! There is definitely no dairy in here, and it's on the house just for you! Wow, thank you so much! I'm so glad we're buddies! See you later! Ha! What a loser! He doesn't suspect a thing! Ugh, I just love me! I am such a diva! <laughs> hey, put away your phone and start taking orders. You're already failing miserably at your job. Ugh! Hashtag this sucks! Hashtag loser boss! Welcome to Starbucks. What can I get for you? Well, hello there, Heath. I think I'll just have a Venti Lemonade. All right, now go ahead and start filming. Okay, you're good to go. Hello, YouTube. Today I will be pulling a classic prank on my nemesis Heath at his new job. Now, let's just give this bottle of soda a good shake. All right, people, it's go time. Okay, Abby, here's your Fenty. <gasps> Fire in the hole! Ah! Oh my god, drive! <laughs> that was epic. <sighs> Abby! Get back here now! Ah! Hey you, turn on your phone and look at the news now! Breaking news! I'm Briar with Channel 11 News here at the local hospital with resident Jackson Jekyll, who has miraculously survived a massive car crash on the interstate today. It's reported that Jackson suffered a serious allergic reaction while driving and ran his moped into a truck, causing a pileup of multiple vehicles. So far, over 10 fatalities have been reported due to the accident today. Jackson Jekyll was extremely lucky to survive the initial crash and is being treated here at the hospital for the allergic reaction that caused the accident. And now, for an exclusive interview with Jackson himself. So Jackson, do you have any input on the crash today? And do you know what caused your debilitating allergic reaction? Oh, I'm so upset! I can't believe innocent people were killed because of the accident! Earlier today, I was at Starbucks and my best friend Heath gave me my coffee. I think it had dairy in it, which I'm definitely allergic to! Well, you heard it here first. Heath Burns is now a suspect in the multiple vehicle car crash that killed over 10 people today. We've inserted a picture from Heath's Instagram profile here. If you see this man, please call the police with additional information. That's all we have for you today. I'm Briar. See you next time on Channel 11 News. Ugh! Jackson is such a snitch! All I wanted to do was play a prank. I didn't know he'd go off and kill 10 people. 
Seriously, Heath? Tampering with a customer's order? You're fired. Forget the thousand dollars you gave me. Just get out. Oh, whatever! I quit anyway. I freaking hate working. I'll just wait for another relative to die and leave me their inheritance. Bye! Ugh.